Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my videos. We get to drive a phase one 1999 Volvo S40T. This is the low pressure turbo model which sits just under the top of the range T4 model. All of the following features and accessories comes as a standard from factory. It has 16 inch alloy wheels with disc brakes, ABS and electronic stability control, remote central locking with keyless entry, CD player with premium six speaker sound system, cool leather interior with wood grain inserts, power windows, power mirrors and power antenna. It has four airbags for your safety. Other creature comfort includes automatic climate control and cruise control. The sunroof, metallic paint and the rear spoilers were offered as optional extras. These rear seats with integrated headrest easily provide comfortable seating for two adults given that you're not over 5 feet 10 as taller passengers suffer from leg and headroom. The built-in child booster seat is an added bonus. Volvo and Saab has always made comfortable car seats. These front seats are no exception either. I do not think anyone would complain about the driving position with this 8-way adjustable seat. For a compact sedan, the boot is spacious, nicely carpeted and features two-way retractable luggage restraint wheel and a side storage net. Let me start the car and quickly show you the engine bay followed by some exhaust sound. We are going to look at the interior now. Here on the left, we have the passenger side air vents and the glove box. The center air vents and the hazard light switch is located in the middle. Just below this, you'll find the automatic climate control knobs and switches, a small storage pocket, and the factory stereo player. A gentle tap on this cover reveals ashtray and the cigarette lighter. Traction control on and off switch, five speed manual transmission, power mirror and the power window switches, the handbrake lever, you will find the indicator switch with integrated cruise control function on the left and the wiper control to the right, driver side air vent, headlight and fog light switch, headlight angle adjuster and the instrument backlight intensity controller and the driver power window switch. Passenger and driver side sun visor with illuminated vanity mirrors and courtesy lamps. Clean and nicely laid out 4 gauge instrument cluster. Digital clock, odometer and external temp is integrated within the cluster. You get few warning lights at the bottom as you turn the key to on position. Let us go for a drive and tell you more about the car. I think I've mentioned earlier in the video that the Volvo S40 shares the platform with Mitsubishi Charisma but it cost 50% more than the Mitsubishi. Just look at the interior and you will know why. The wood grain inserts, leather wrapped steering wheels or even the soft feeling plastic dash, everything is made of top quality materials. The fit and finish is definitely up to Volvo standard as well. In this model, you are also spoiled with automatic climate control, cruise control and a good sounding 6 speaker stereo. There is another thing that I really like about this car is the quietness of the cabin. Even at higher speed, the road and the wood noise is minimal. I was really impressed by the performance of this 2 liter dual overhead cam B4204T engine. Though the power produced by the engine is not massive, the maximum torque is available from 18,000 RPM to all the way to 4,800 RPM. So when you put your foot down, the car moves fairly quick. Volvo did not stop here, as with this car, they were trying to grab the attention of the younger buyers. So they released the T4 model with the high pressure turbo engine. I am not going to say anything about that engine, the numbers speaks for themselves. This is my first time driving a Volvo with manual transmission. The shift changes on this M56 gearbox is nice and smooth. I also like the feel of the clutch as it is not too soft and provides good feedback of the clutch action. The handling and the suspension setup is the weak point about this car. The steering lacks road feedback and there is also a fair bit of understeer when you push the car hard on tight corners. 
With this sort of handling characteristic, you would expect the ride to be more comfortable. In reality, it is quite the opposite. Especially in Australian road condition, the ride is rather bumpy. To remedy this problem, the Phase 2 model released in 2000 had new front suspension and steering, revised rear suspension, larger tires and wider tracks. All these changes had positive effect on the handling and ride quality of the car. When it comes to fuel consumption, you'll love this car. Just have a look at the figures below. In everyday driving, I have got 7.75 liters per 100k. These Volvo cars are built to last. However, it is extremely important that you buy one with full service history. Also check the conditions of all hoses in the cooling system, top right engine mount, exhaust pulse valve, and look for power steering leaking from steering rack pinion seal. I am really impressed with the build quality of this car. Also love the engine, gearbox, and the quietness of the interior. The handling could have been better. Still, as an overall package, it is a really good car and I strongly recommend to anyone who is after a reliable, safe and a practical compact European sedan. For those who are really fast about the ride quality, I recommend to look for the Phase 2 model as they offer better handling and a much more compliant ride. Feel free to share, like and comment on this video and consider subscribing to my channel. Finally, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I'll catch you next time. Bye now.